she's filled out the form on the computer, on the laptop, boom, sent it off, bang, bang, made up a load of bollocks, all lies, like, a couple of weeks later, she gets an email back, we love the application, can Tom come up for an interview? So tell me, how did The Apprentice come about? So The Apprentice, so at the time, I'd, I'd, actually, I'd actually started a, a pillow round, and I, I, I was doing quite well. I, I, so I, was doing, I had like 30 or 40 shops that I was going around, I was giving them pillows on sale of a turn, coming back, picking up the money, like giving them some more pillows, and, I, and it was working, and I had my market stall, and I was cracking on, but I wasn't, didn't have, never had enough money to go to the next level, and didn't really know anyone with that sort of money. Like, you know, my family never had, a cut hundred grand around them to put into me, or I never had any anyone who, who could. I mean, I could I could always borrow five or ten grand for of, of my friends and things like that. But I could never borrow proper money to get to work with, and to get to the next level, I needed a machine to do my own pillars, like to cut out the manufacturer, do it myself, and really crack on and and buy bigger amounts as well, obviously. And my my missus who loves The Apprentice, like she was she was my. Girl, uh, girlfriend at the time, she went to me, was sitting, we actually got around to my mum's house, sitting at my mum's house, and she went, they're all watching The Apprentice, and I'm sitting in the kitchen. Mum's house is literally front room kitchen, so she's there. And I'm in the kitchen, they're in there watching The Apprentice, and, and, and my, my mum and, and, and uh, Sinead are going, oh, like, you'd be great on this, you'd be great on this, you're like, boom, boom, boom. Oh, you never have no luck. Oh, you, we're gonna sit, like, send the app uh, off the form. So Sinead, my, my wife now, she, she's filled out the form on the computer, on the laptop, boom, sent it off, bang, bang, made up a load of bollocks, all lies, like, he's good at this, he does that, he does this, he da 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 Filled it, I'm dyslexic, cannot fill a form out to save my life. They've sent it off, thought nothing of it, a couple of weeks later, she gets an email back, we love the application, can Tom come up for an interview? Well, because I didn't really watch The Apprentice, I didn't really know what it was about, so I've done what every person shouldn't do going to the Prince. I went and bought myself a new new polo shirt, put on my favourite Timberland boots that I wore without the market, a smart pair of jeans, went up to the uh, interview place in West London, and I was the only person not wearing a suit. <laughs> and uh, went up there, made everyone laugh, come back for more interviews, cracked on, and, and uh, I got I got I got the part, you know. Like they they said we'd love you to go on the show, and I was yeah over the moon. At what point do you meet uh, Alan Sugar? Does that does that not till you get on the show? Not till you get so you meet him literally on the very very first day. Task one: you go to the house, you put your stuff in the house, and you go to that whole. No, that's a complete lie. You go to a hotel, you wait in a hotel, then you go to the boardroom, which is not a boardroom, it's a warehouse, it's a studio, which made a, 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 a boardroom. You wait outside, you meet all your new contestants and you go straight into the boardroom and then Lord Sugar walks in, that's the first time you meet him. <laughs> 